Okay, so computer chips, right? Yeah. Well, we kind of take them for granted these days. Mm. They're everywhere. All right. Phones, laptops, even your refrigerator probably has one. Oh, yeah, for sure. But we always want more from them. Of course, always faster, more powerful. Exactly, smaller, faster, got to be able to do more. But um, what if, and this is kind of wild, what if the next big leap in how we make these chips, it's not about cramming more transistors onto a tiny piece of silicon. Okay, I'm intrigued. What's this wild idea? What if the key is actually dot space? Space, like outer space. Yeah, like building chips up there. Wow, okay. That's uh, different. So how would that even work? Well, that's what this YouTube video from Plurify Consulting Inc. is all about. It's called The Space Age Secret to Better Computer Chips. And it dives into this whole idea. Okay, so what's the secret? Why space? So it comes down to one big thing. Gravity. Mm -hmm. Making it hip, it's not just soldering parts together. Right, right. It's about growing these super pure crystals, atom by atom. Yeah, those crystals need to be perfect too, right? Any little flaw messes things up. Exactly. The video actually used this analogy, Whoa. and I thought it was perfect. It's like building a sandcastle, but someone keeps shaking the beach. Oh, I see. Because gravity is always there, messing with those tiny crystals as they're forming. Yep. Every chip maker is basically battling gravity on a microscopic level. Makes sense. So space, yeah. how does that help? Think about it. Microgravity. Up in orbit? You're practically weightless. Ah, okay, so no gravity to mess things up. Exactly. Pristine crystal growth. That's pretty cool. So, in theory, you could grow bigger, better crystals in space. That's the idea. Bigger crystals, fewer defects, and that means faster, more efficient chips. Wow, okay, so are we talking like factories in orbit, robots assembling chips? Well, hold on, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Right, right. Let's not get carried away. Let, <laughs> let's talk about how they make these chips first, because there's this really cool process involved. It's called dot epitaxy. Epitaxy. Sounds complicated. It is, but also kind of simple. Imagine building the chip like a microscopic layer cake. Each layer is super thin and super pure. That layering process, that's epitaxy. And it's key to making those high-performance chips. Interesting. So how does this epitaxy thing work in space? Or is that even part of it? And like with the crystals doing this epitaxy stuff, gravity can mess that up too. Oh, right. Especially when you're talking about layers that are, what, like atom thick? Yeah. Things are going to move around even a little. Mm. That's going to throw things off. Exactly. You get these like imperfections mixing between the layers. Not good for performance. Not good at all. <laughs> but in space, mm. microgravity, that's where this epitaxy thing could really take off. Ah, uh, okay. Like perfect layers every single time. Potentially, yeah. Chips that are truly out of this world good. Okay, now you're getting me really picturing it, these massive space stations, robots putting together chips in zero G. Pretty wild, right? Yeah, but come on, be realistic. That's gotta be, what, decades away? Yeah, the video even says it, the cost and logistics of space manufacturing. Astronomical, to say the least. Astronomical, ha, good one. But seriously, rockets are expensive. They are. So we're not building factories in space anytime soon, hmm. but are we just like, stuck with earth-grown crystals and their limitations until then? Not necessarily. See, scientists and engineers, they're clever. Uh oh They've figured out ways to, get this, recreate those microgravity conditions down here. Wait, what? How do you even do that? Special chambers. They basically trick gravity. Just for a little bit. Different techniques, but same idea. You create a spot where stuff is basically weightless. Like a gravity vacation for the crystals. Huh. I like that. Yeah, a little yeah. vacation. And even though it's temporary, scientists are learning a ton, like just how differently crystals grow in those conditions. So it could change how we made chips down here, even without going to space. Exactly. Bringing yeah. a little bit of space down to Earth. I love it. And think about it. This isn't just about chips. This research, it helps other fields too, right? Medicine, materials. Wow. Yeah. Like a ripple effect. Exactly. Exploring the unknown, even in a little chamber, leads to breakthroughs. Who knows where it could lead? It's kind of mind-blowing, honestly. It started with computer chips. Now we're yeah. talking about like the future of science, all because of space. It is amazing how one thing leads to another. Just goes to show you never know where research will take you. Speaking of which, this whole thing got me thinking about AI. Like yeah. all the big AI stuff happening, it relies on powerful chips, right? Totally, yeah. More power, smaller size, that's what they need to push AI forward. Right. So if these better chips, these space chips, if that's the key to even more powerful AI, mm -hmm. could all this like indirectly be speeding up the whole AI revolution? Oh, whoa. That's a good point. 
Yeah. yeah, if microgravity unlocks this next level of chip tech, AI could be advancing way faster than we expect because of our, what, spacefaring ambitions. Yeah, kind of spooky when you think about it like that. Little bit, yeah. Like we're launching rockets and also unknowingly maybe the next generation of AI. Who knows what they'll be capable of? Exactly. It's like, uh, okay, this is going to sound weird, but it's like we're messing with the timeline of AI and space is the time machine. Huh. Okay, I, I kind of get what you mean. Like, it adds this whole other layer to the whole be careful with AI thing, but a cool layer. Yeah, definitely cool. And that's what I love about these deep dives, right? Yeah. You start with something totally normal, like, oh, computer chips, everyone's got one. But then you end up talking about, like, the future of AI and messing with the space-time continuum all in one conversation. Right. Shows the power of digging into stuff, you know? One little thing can lead you to some really big questions. For sure. So, to everyone listening... If you're as mind blown by this spaceship stuff as we are, check out that video, Polarify Consulting Inc. It's on YouTube. They've got tons of cool science stuff. And let us know what you think. Is space the future of tech? Are we going to have robot chip factories in orbit? Or is there something else out there, even wilder, that'll change everything? Until next time, stay curious. We'll catch you on the next deep dive.